hello I finally have a story to tell well not finally but I have another story to tell because yesterday I went to MCM it was amazing uh, I went over there was Matt and Chris from guys at Yellow Face which was so much fun um, just got a chance to hang out and just chill and just be surrounded by just nerdiness it just felt so good um, like me and Matt got early tickets and Chris didn't unfortunately through some series of events um, so he had to go and queue up in a long line, which they actually booked out a whole hall, like just serpentined around the whole thing, which I thought was actually pretty crazy. Um, so me and Matt were kind of like, yeah, we're, we're, we're friends and everything, but but no, we, we have we, we got things to do. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> which I thought was kind of funny, but that queue was long and it moved actually not so badly, actually. Because if you've ever been to... It was held at the NEC, went to uh, the one in Birmingham, like I said, a couple of days ago. Um, if you've been to the NEC before, they booked out Hall 5. They booked out Halls 5, 6, and 7. 6 and 7 is where memorabilia, Comic Con, and MCM, or MCM were going on. And uh, Hall 5 is just where they had for queues. It was just totally empty hall, and the queues were just going up and down and up and down in a serpentine fashion, and it was crazy. Uh, so, me and Matt were like, glad we kind of pre booked and got in. <clears throat> Once we got in, it was just stalls, cosplay, stalls and cosplay, and uh, some of the stuff I saw, I was like, I wanted to buy everything. Like, everything just looked so good, and I wanted it all, but my, I know my wallet would be like, no, no more, please, no, please, no. <laughs> but, you know, I got some pictures, um, we talked to some people, which was actually pretty cool. Like, this was a place where I could, you, you could pretty much just talk to people uh, if they, they they were talking about something you like you have has interest you just kind of just in, jump in and say oh you would do this blah 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 and I'm like yeah sure blah, blah, blah. we just have a cool conversation it was awesome like no one really kind of gave you funny looks for talking to them or they didn't really um, feel um, awkward when you asked for pictures or whatever it was just like super chill and super cool and it was awesome and yeah I got so much swag and it's so well not so much but so much awesome stuff so for example since I was on a limited budget, I only managed to get four things. So one of the things I got was this uh, SNK mouse mat of the Survey Core, which I thought was pretty cool uh, for about three quid, which is not too bad because uh, I needed a mouse mat. Uh, put that back. And then I also got uh, these prints by David Bircham, uh which was actually he's artist has been doing this for eighteen years, and he's like done taken. Uh, the best of what he does, I didn't notice that, but like he basically takes uh, characters and <coughs> uh, comic characters, anime characters, and whatever, and like puts his own interpretation on it. So, for example, this one, um, if I can, yep, so that is Full for Summer at the top there, and Wolverine um, and Mariko on a motorbike to get uh, together. It looks pretty cool, and at the bottom it says. Uh, the best at what he does uh, and it was really cool because I was talking to this guy and like he had, he definitely had a passion for what he does and comics and stuff and he was like he was debating he's we talking, we talking about his speech he was like thinking so I was debating whether to do like Mariko in like a traditional kind of dress sense but like he thought decided to do uh, in a more modern more practical in the sense of being on a bike with Wolverine um, style and it, uh, it actually worked and I really do like like everything he did that had there was just looked amazing so, like there was like several um, really cool Spider-Man ones there's like one where he had um, uh, Spider-Man just like web shooting and the web shooting and coming out and it is don't I can't really put it into words but once you see it you'd be like oh my goodness that's <coughs> excuse me pretty dang cool so I got that and also I got this Captain America one which I don't really have much of a strong feelings towards Captain America but just the way he drew that just looked, I was like, it really did appeal to me. Uh, it was really, really cool. Uh, yeah. And among other things, I got my, I think my pride and joy from that day is this little bad boy. I shall unwrap it for you. My pride and or joy. Batarang, man, it was. I saw it. I was like, I, I gotta have it. It was like I was so torn because like there were like Dragon Ball replicas. There was like this Spider-Man dagger. I think if you type in a Spider-Man dag decorative dagger, 
you'll find it or this and I just I just it was like it's a batarang I just you gotta have it and I'm, I don't know where I'm gonna put this now but I have a batarang and that's kind of cool <laughs> but yeah it was pretty awesome like this is gonna be like a long one because I'm just gonna be like marveling at everything that went on there was like so much cool cosplay I, I've got a couple of videos and pictures I put the pictures up on my uh, wordpress and I'll probably do like a little video after this with just all the footage I've taken which probably the audio is pretty kind of shot 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 because I used this these headphones and they have like a I didn't drop anything then this uh, head, little microphone there for, used as a headset and some of the audio was coming through there so the, some of the audio might be kind of bad so I apologize for that in advance um, but yeah there's some cool some cosplay there was a space marine like well done space marine it was uh, uh, and then there was also uh, a Dovahkiin, uh, which I heard, I'll let you see the pictures, but what I, when I said, uh, when I heard, oh, someone's doing a Dovahkiin, I was like, oh, fine, they're just going to be stuck in the Iron Helm and shooting the Iron Book letter, but no. <laughs> oh, no, sir. It looks so good. Um, but yeah. It's just, uh, all the things that we saw, man, oh, like. Transformers toys, I saw like, if you remember Beast Wars, there was Rampage, like a scorpion guy. I had that toy when I was younger, and I saw that box and everything, I was like, I kind of want it, but I didn't get it because money. Um, and yeah, we just had such a fun time. I'm just, I, I'm just playing with this because I can't put it down. Um, yeah, it was insane, it was crazy. I totally enjoyed the whole thing. Um, if you ever get a chance to go, I would definitely recommend going because... It is so much fun. It's worth it. Um, just to chill, be with great people that you're not pretty much around, and yeah, it's only, it was only sixty pounds for early entry. So yeah, I will probably go head over to the London one and the Birmingham one next year as well. So yeah, that should be fun. And I'm just gonna stop rambling now, even though I enjoyed all of yesterday. So <laughs> thank you guys very much for watching my little rambles and insights on. Uh, MCM Comic Con, and uh, I'm just gonna continue playing with this, this this little beauty. Uh, just, uh, I'm so happy. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna marvel up, uh, off, about this thing off camera. So thank you guys, and I will see you later. Bye bye.